the scariest ghost clips on the internet right now. The following short video was uploaded to Facebook of all places by a woman named Jennifer. The clip in question claims to show a ghost inside Eagles Hotel in Quincy, Illinois. Security cameras in the Eagles Hotel in Quincy, Illinois captured what appears to be a ghost or apparition dashing by and into the elevator. As we can see here, the unknown entity quickly moves out of the elevator and into the hallway next to the housekeeper's trolley. It then bolts back into the elevator at speed, the height of it being the size of a small adult or even a child. Employees have also reported seeing shadows and even heard giggling in the hotel. A woman named Sabrina on TikTok uploaded the following two videos, both of which were recorded and uploaded back in late 2020. One night, the family's outdoor motion cameras caught something that no one could understand. It was recording and no one was out back. Took a look, no one was out back. Check this out. Watch in between the square. Mainly, watch this spot right here. You can see a shadow up here. Boom. And no one's there. And then you see this little orb right here. And then you watch, keep... babe. Look at that. No one's out back. It just sits there too. It does. It just sits right there. And you can see the whole shadow, like a person. That's nuts. I don't know how long it sits goes there away. for. Or goes away. Comes back. Now watch. The person is gonna disappear. It's like they just. It's like they're just boom. Boom. Gone. The couple were freaked when they discover an unknown figure appearing in their backyard. As we've just seen, a shadow in the shape of a person appears for half a minute or so and then vanishes without a trace. But not before a bright orb starts darting around the couple's backyard. Skeptics concluded that this was almost certainly one of them playing the part. Their response was this second follow-up video. Sabrina standing there. Alright, walk, walk outside real quick. No, she has no shadow. Shut the light off! And do it. Alright, walk over there. No shadow. Look at that shit. These two videos blew up a year or so ago when they originally were uploaded to TikTok, and for obvious reasons, it appears that this couple might just live in a haunted house. Although, Sabrina does state in one of her videos that their house was picked up and moved at one point and placed on an old cemetery. Perhaps this could explain the activity outside their house. Diego, a young man out of Mexico, best known for his creepy videos on TikTok, has been giving thousands of his viewers nightmares with his latest creepy clips. The TikTok page Diego Spikers has recently been making it to all top scary channels for obvious reasons. Take a look at this first clip. Hey me! Hey me! From what I can gather from the comment section, it seems that Diego continues to see the image of his younger sister Amy throughout his apartment. 
Problem is, she's been dead for some time. So, who or what is this? Diego appears to be woken up most nights after hearing things in his apartment. Take a look. Diego finds a doll downstairs by the entrance to his apartment, almost exactly where he captured the image of this young girl. He brings it upstairs to find that the dog has pulled it apart. ¿Qué pasó, niña? ¿Qué pasó? No, 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 no. Diego soon discovers that something was inside the doll. However, I bet he probably wishes that he had left the creepy looking doll downstairs. Because as he's filming this last TikTok video, he captures what can only be described as a child's hand coming out from beneath a table. All these bizarre and somewhat terrifying experiences have led his viewers to believe that Diego's apartment might just be haunted by his late sister. Be sure to check out Diego on his new TikTok page. No doubt he'll have plenty more creepy videos to come in the future. A man named Chris sent this into a ghost website with the following information. Here is a family photo that has sat on my grandparents' shelf as long as I could remember. It is a photo of my aunt and uncle's family who lived in Rhode Island. I don't know them well, but one Thanksgiving, my cousin noticed the man in the window that no one ever noticed before. My cousin scanned the photo and then we emailed it to my uncle and asked him who was in the window. Uncle Jay said he had no idea there was someone there when the photo was taken back in 1977, but he said a lot of strange things did happen in that house. My aunt and uncle moved out of that house over 20 years ago. Now the photo is always a family ghost story that we all have fun with every time we're at my grandparents' house. Pripyat is a ghost town in northern Ukraine, near the Ukraine-Belarus border, named after the nearby river Pripyat. The town was founded in early 1970. However, it closed and became abandoned a decade or two later when the nearby Chernobyl nuclear power plant disaster happened. The following clip was taken from Google Earth from the area inside Pripyat, an amusement park location that has long been deserted. Previous viewers of this short clip have suggested that this may not just be a regular person. Seen as though the area is covered in radiation and most people don't just travel out to the abandoned town to hang out. A slumped or moped over man or figure can be seen inside one of the abandoned rides or ticket booths. Could this be something paranormal such as one of the poor souls that perished in the area all those decades ago? Or is it nothing more than just a regular guy playing the part for a supposed ghost photo? Jose Garcia, a young man from Mexico, recorded a frightening video on his cell phone back in 2021. The footage shows Jose walking around his apartment in shock after hearing unknown sounds coming from all over the place. 
Mi gente, me encuentro en casa de mi tía, estoy muy desconcertado. Vine a visitarla, pero estoy escuchando muchos ruidos. Ella todavía no llega. Me dijo que la esperara. Estoy, estoy a punto de irme de verdad. De la parte de arriba es donde escucho ruidos. No mames, güey. ¿Escucharon? ¿Escucharon? Miren, 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 escuchen, escuchen. Todo se está quedando aquí grabado. No mames, güey, están aventando cosas. La puerta se está abriendo, en serio, ya me quiero ir. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre, venga a nosotros tu reino. No, por favor, no, yo vengo de la mano de Dios, vengo solamente a casa de mi tía, no me hagas daño, yo vengo, vengo. No, güey. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre, venga a nosotros tu reino. Güey, güey, acaban de prender el, acaban de prender el microondas, mi gente, lo estoy dejando todo grabado. Acaban de golpear el baño, Acá me voy a meter al baño. Acaban de, de cerrarme la puerta. Ya no puedo, en serio, ya no puedo, ya no puedo. Vengo de la mano de Dios, yo no busco hacerte ningún tipo de daño. Yo sé que estás golpeando la puerta. Por favor, ando muy nervioso. Jose gets up to check out his apartment in the dark. He walks into the bathroom and discovers someone or something is hiding in there underneath a sheet. What is usually one of the worst ghost costumes on Halloween is absolutely terrifying here in this creepy video. However, somehow I don't think this is just a joke. Judging by his breathing and the way he takes off down the street would suggest this might be genuine. To find out what happened next, switch on over to Jose's TikTok page. Now this short video was found on TikTok uploaded by a scary or horror compilation page. The spooky clip appears to show figures or at least what appears to be apparitions rising up from the surface of the water. The entities are clear in color and seem to be gliding across a lake. Because of the distance from which the video is taken, it's difficult to make out what these things actually are. A short video with no context, but still creepy enough to make its way onto this video. What do you think these are? Possibly a real ghost? Or just another hoax? This clip here was uploaded by an unknown source. The short clip shows a young woman dancing, making a fun clip for TikTok. However, something creepy is seen in the background that no one can make sense of. What appears to be some sort of black entity comes flying out of the mirrored closet behind her. Notice the closet door slide open just moments before this unknown thing darts out. Previous viewers of this clip have suggested that this is nothing more than a fish flying out from the girl's closet. While others think it's a partial manifestation of a spirit escaping the view of the camera. But who knows? What would be your best guess? Cretian Point Plantation, a pre-Civil War 12-room red brick mansion located along the bayous of Louisiana has been considered for some time now to be haunted. The estate was built by Mr. Cretian in 1831 and at one point was a thriving 3,000-acre cotton plantation. Construction took four years and was completed in 1835. Cretian and his wife Velicite moved in shortly afterwards. 
Unfortunately, Mr. Critian died from yellow fever about four years later in 1839. In the years that followed, Velicite became an extremely wealthy woman. Such wealth was a target for all sorts. The following video is a segment taken from a 20-year-old episode of Haunted Hotels, a program produced by the Travel Channel back in 2001. It explains why the building might just be one of the most haunted in the state of Louisiana. Along the bayous of Louisiana, soft breezes sway the Spanish moss. The setting seems too serene for the violence that once shattered the peace of the plantation home at Cretien Point. Two hours west of New Orleans, Cretien Point's 1831 plantation house is so evocative of the Old South that even Hollywood once looked to it for inspiration. There was a photographer and he came out here and he took pictures of Cretien Point, the stairway particularly. The photographer had heard of the plantation's dark story, for the stairway was the point of a violent killing long ago. There was going to be a killing on the stairway in the movie, so he took pictures of the arched windows in the stairway, and indeed Hollywood copied the stairway from Cretien Point for Taras in the movie Gone with the Wind. This Louisiana version of Tara once was home to its very own Scarlet, very much like in the movie Gone with the Wind, there was also a young woman, and she was a very independent soul. Her name was Felicite Cretien. She was the first liberated woman of Louisiana. She rode her horse astride like a man, and she smoked cigars and she gambled. Felicite's husband had died young, leaving his wife to cope alone. And that meant Felicite had to take over running of the plantation. And she did quite well. She was quite a good businesswoman. But running the farm was far from the only business at Cretien Point. For years, the plantation had been financed in part by dealings with pirates. They accumulated a lot of goods. And they would buy and sell here at what is now known as Cretien Point. All of the stolen goods were sold here. She did what she had to do to survive. She kept up the contraband dealings, the black market dealings, and uh, that's how she got herself in with a little bit of the trouble that ended up happening over here. Late one night, Felicity heard her door opening and realized instantly that dealing with pirates was a dangerous game. She knew she was in trouble. She grabbed a handful of jewelry and a pistol and she went and stood at the head of the stairs and waited. And sure enough, one of the pirates was on his way up the stairs. She just waited for that perfect moment. In the darkened staircase, Felicite needed to make her one bullet count. She shook her jewelry in front of her and said, don't come any further. And Felicite really was saying, come a little bit closer. I can't see you well enough yet. So as he came up the stairs, not close enough to her, she pulled a pistol out, shot him in the head and killed him. Aware that the other pirates might come in search of their comrade, Felicite dragged the body downstairs. They took his body and put it in the cabinet under the stairs for the rest of the night, and he finished bleeding under, under there. Now, the flooring under the stairs is almost totally black. In the morning, the servants carried away the pirate's body, but some feel that his spirit remained behind. So, that is one of our ghosts. We call him Robert, and... Uh, Robert, we don't make fun of. Robert has been known to go to great lengths to make sure that people take him seriously. My first cousin came to dinner, and I was telling him about the ghosts, and he says, you're crazy to believe in things like that. Pounded on the table, he said, there's no such things in, as a ghost, and you know it. And the French doors of the dining room that were latched, and they opened up all by themselves. Just beyond the doors lies the closet that once served as the pirate's makeshift tomb. 
So from then on, we talk about Robert, we mention that he's there, and, but we don't make fun of him. But Chrétien Point's most active spirit seems to be Robert's old adversary, the lady of the house. The house is absolutely a no-smoking zone, but at times, you will smell cigar smoke in the house. When we smell that cigar light up, we know it's Miss Felicity. Hey, none of us smoke cigars. Then all of a sudden, that just hits you out of nowhere, just the smell of cigar, strong. Of course, this was her house first, so we allowed her to smoke in the house. At times, the objects in Felicite's home appear to be moved by unseen hands. There was this rocking chair in the room from the 1800s, but nobody was sitting in the chair. And all of a sudden, that rocking chair started rocking. The next day, one of the docents was giving a tour, and she told the story of yesterday, the chair rocking. And her back was to the chair, and a gentleman on the tour said, well, look, it's rocking now. Nobody was in the chair, and there was the chair rocking. So she said, well, enough of that. Let's go out on the gallery. The doors to the gallery opened by themselves. Can this be the work of Felicite still guarding her home? Maybe she's out there looking for the pirates to come back again. Felicite, former owner of Chrétien Point, still seems to live there to this day. Sometimes they see Felicite looking through the windows. Sometimes she's sitting down in her parlor. We've had uh, one of the tour guides walk in and she's sitting down in, in one of the wingback chairs. Miss Felicite wants you to know that this is her house. This is still her house. Felicite still has her own idea of where things belong. We have a card table that's upstairs, and I'll put the cards in a position, and I'll go back for a tour, and the cards are in a different place. Sometimes I try to make excuses. Maybe one of the maids came up here and moved the cards, or was cleaning, but that's Miss Felicite. I think Miss Felicite loves her cards in a specific place, and nobody touches her cards. As when she was alive, Miss Felicite is fiercely protective of her property. They see Miss Felicite walking up and down on the galley, wandering, waiting, watching out maybe for anybody who's coming out to see her. Most of all, Felicite seems to want to remind today's guests that she is still the mistress of her home. She was a woman to be reckoned with. <laughs> the ghosts, the people that lived here before, they had a right to be here at one time. So as far as I'm concerned, they still have a right to be here. The owners of Chrétien Point believe in their spirits. They also believe that one day they too may become permanent residents of the plantation. The energy sources from people who have been here before are certainly still in this house. And I would assume, since we've been here a long time, I've owned this house for about 26 years now, I would imagine 100 years from now, the energy that my wife and I and our children have left here will certainly show itself to other people that are here later on. So that's okay. Although the historic house is still there till this day, the supposedly real haunted plantation is no longer open to the public. Perhaps this place will have to live on in retro ghost stories just like the one you've seen here.